Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. If you're new here, I make videos about my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media, do it, please. In this video, it's gonna be more of a tutorial about my hair. Um, we're going over the crochet technique. I ended up buying two crochet hooks because on Instagram, I started seeing a lot of people talking about this crochet or sort of instant lock method. And I wanted to try it out on my locks to see if I could just sort of handle some of the loose hairs that were happening around my front area. If you're interested in purchasing it, I'll link to it in the description box. It's not very expensive at all, so that's really cool. And I've seen a lot of people do this method again on Instagram where essentially you're taking the hair, um, the loose hairs that are kind of coming out of the lock, wrapping them around and then taking this crochet hook and essentially looping that loose hair into the lock. And for me, when I do this, my big goal is I'm not actually trying to get a super, super defined design or anything like that. Again, as y'all know, I'm pretty much semi-free form. I don't like to manipulate my hair too much. Every now and then there are a few locks that kind of stick out and you wanna just kind of make sure that they're not going rogue or anything like that. So this method seems to be really good for just kind of helping those loose hairs along to grow back into the lock and not be an issue. So I don't do it very tight. I just do it enough to where I feel that, okay, the loose hairs have officially been incorporated into the lock and I can tell that the next time I wash my hair, I won't have to worry about them getting loose again. I actually did try this method on this lock and it did help it a lot. This is actually my favorite lock on my hair, by the way. Do you have a favorite lock? Let me know in the comments below, describe why. But this is actually my favorite lock because it started off super small. There was actually more to it below. It started off super small, then I combined it with another one right here and there's still this little knot, and then it got super fat. And I just love how fat and flat it is. It's just so cute. And you can see it just kind of cleaned it up a little bit at the root, not too much. Um, and now I don't have to worry about any fluffies coming out of it. Also, don't drag me if you see any flickety flakes, okay? I'm behind on my wash routine this week, okay? Don't drag nobody, all right? We out here pew, pew, pew. I'm gonna wash my hair, don't judge me. I literally have a new lock forming here after my last uh, pop and parlay video where I talk about how I'm sabbaticaling. Um, I, I had shown y'all that I had this like tuft of hair here to my side and then after filming I realized there was more than enough hair here to start a lock and so I did. I sort of just kind of twisted it up and then put a knot in it so it wouldn't unravel and now I just have a lock that's a brand new baby lock in the corner. Your hair just does what it wants, you know, and you just have to kind of roll with it and just kind of guide it as needed and so on and so forth. You know, don't overthink it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the hair into your hand and I kind of wrap it just a little bit, not too much. And then you're gonna take the crochet needle and you're just gonna kind of start digging in and out. And essentially what you're doing is creating these quick weaves of the new hair and weaving it into, like sewing it literally into the lock itself. That's what you're gonna do. So this method is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. One thing I will say is when you are doing this, it's you're gonna hear it crinkle and crackle and crunching and whatnot. So, you know, try to be as gentle as possible. Don't force it too much. Take your time. I think I'm very new to this method, so I do it very, I do it pretty slowly. If you watch other people on like Instagram, for example, do it, they're like, there's some a few locticians that I've seen do it and by the time they're done, they've figured out this amazing way to like put a grid pattern in and all of that, which is gorgeous, but you know, that's it's just not the life I'm living. So yeah, I hope this video helps y'all if you're, especially if you're one of those people that are trying to be a little more semi-free form, trying to go a little bit more low maintenance, low manipulation on your locks, um, but seem to just have a few sort of loose hairs that don't wanna grow into the lock. I know a few of y'all have commented on my videos talking about how you wanna be semi-free form or only maintain your locks once or twice a year or something like that. For some reason, your texture pattern is kind of just hindering you from doing that. I think this is a good method for you to just kind of help guide that loose hair back into the lock and then be able to be that, be more hands off if that's what you want. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with having, having super manicured locks. They're awesome too. It's just, you know, to each their own. So, all that being said, 
Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, big shout out to my Patreon producers, patreon.com slash Halise for being my production team with this channel. If you're interested, you can join and get early access to videos whenever possible, as well as private weekly vlogs from me where I talk about everything else I've got going on in the background. So uh, yeah, it's a good time. And once again, thanks for stopping by. I'm Halise. I'll see you when I see you. Let me clean my glasses off, first of all. Let me not look a mess in this video. Hey everyone, 